Hi there, box playing lads and lasses. Welcome to today's lesson on the friendly visit, a very friendly, happy kind of hornpipe, which I think you're going to enjoy. Suggested to me by my student Michael. Thank you, Michael, because it turns out I didn't know it well. It turns out to be a really cracking tune for the C sharp D box. So let's get down to it. I'll play it for you at a reasonable speed. Then I'll show you a couple of tricks you need to look at before you start learning it. I'll break it down part by part. And at the end, I'll play it at a moderate tempo, and hopefully by that time, you'll be able to join in with me and play along. Okay, let's get to it. Now, let's look, before we start uh, doing the tune phrase by phrase, let's look at a couple of little things that you want to sort out, how you're going to play them, before we do that. There is, um, most of the time, I would play a triplet here. So, I find, uh, although I often slide a lot around doing triplets, here I find using fingers one, two, three, the most convenient thing to do, I suppose you could. Depending on what kind of fingering strategies you like. You could do the whole thing with two fingers, but I prefer to use three because it allows me to climb up like that. So that's one uh, small difficulty. Um, another comes in the same in the first part. This phrase, which crops up in a surprising number of tunes. I think I discussed it in the video about the Ballantor Fancy. It also crops up in other tunes such as Miss Thornton. And it's a descending phrase, but a kind of... Um, it's like a C, C major to D7 sort of progression. And the notes are G, E, C natural, A. <clears throat> I find it easier to cross over here like this. And some teachers recommend you should never cross your fingers like that. If you didn't want to, I suppose you'd have to jump or try and get your third finger maybe on the C. But really to play it fluidly and at speed. I find that works very well. So get that little phrase sorted out. The other thing we might look at before we start uh, learning the tune phrase by phrase is the question of triplets in the second part. Um, there's a couple of uh, repeated triplets like that and you could play them in this traditional one row box players cascading manner. And you could make use of your magic notes in the C-sharp D by using the outer row and give you a totally different feel. Because when you play triplets in that fashion, of course, the, the uh, triplet note, the grace note, is often a third above the main note because it's a button higher. So that's D, F-sharp, E, G. It's quite a wide space feeling. And of course, you get that very staccato feeling of playing it like that. The other way to do it, because um, you've got F-sharp here, so you could easily play, and that would be F-sharp to G, a single tone instead of two. A single step, I should say. So, <clears throat> I, 
quite like the sound of the more fluid as opposed to you make your choice try both and alternate them as you like so all right on to the tune phrase by phrase first part first phrase Let's go that far. Carrying on. So the two phrases together. Play them for you a bit slower, but try to get this sort of hornpipe feeling into them, the unevenness. And as you get up that top G, it's a climax, so hit the G hard. Going on. So from that high G, slowly, and then after that, sorry, if you're not using a bass as you could play. So from the high G, or and we're off again. That's all the same, but this is different. Arpeggio G. So let's play the whole first part slowly. Play along with me now. So that's the first part. A couple of different variations you could try there. You could try doing a little triplet ornament on the first on the first main note. And you could instead of playing triplet, you could just play. that. You could also try You could also add a couple of notes in here instead of being You could play It's rather like G arpeggio you get the second time through. So there's the first part and a couple of little variations to try. Let's go on to the second part. Second part starts with the run up from D up to G. Let's stay on the road for this. So that slowly is. Again. 
Let's add a slight refinement. Triplet. Same, similar sort of rundown. We're going from E, C natural, A, down to E. Next we jump up to G, C natural there, which we C sharp rather, which we could either play on the outer row or on the row. Now we have triplets, let's do them on the row first. second finger here. You'll see why in a minute. So the whole second part so far. And I'll just do that again or I'll do the last part using the outer, uh, outer row for triplets. outer row earlier that. Your choice. And then the rest of the second part is easy because it finishes the way that the first part finishes. So let me just play you the second part through twice, slowly, and I'll use the different methods for the triplets each time. Now, let's play the tune together all the way through, slowly. Not too slowly.
Yes, hello, box playing lads and lasses. Welcome to today's lesson, the friendly horn, friendly hornpipe. 